What is up guys, welcome into a brand new Ashes series. We are back in 2005. It, it's been streamed on Channel 4 as well as YouTube, this. The last free-to-air, I think, last free-to-air series that there was. Probably the greatest series that I've ever watched. Uh, we're at Lords for England 2005 versus Australia 2005. Before we get into it though guys, if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, put that bell notification on because this Ashes series will probably have two or three episodes, uh, probably two episodes a week, I'd imagine most of the time. But let's get straight into it and see what, ha what happens in the first test. I think Australia won the first test um, as they were obviously at full strength with Glenn McGrath. All right, okay, here we are at the toss. Uh, Ponting calls and he calls tails. England on the toss and we are going to have a bowl on a grassy Lords pitch. Okay, Harmison in to bowl the first ball of a new series. 2005 Ashes, here we are. In swinger straight to mid on and it will be no run. Cut away. Straight to the man at point, no run. And Harmison to finish off the first over of a new Ashes series as a maiden. And he does. Oh, God. Into bowl. Looks a little bit like Boris Johnson. But I won't ask any questions as he's in. And that's driven. It'll be no run again. And that's flicked off the legs. And it's a no ball. We'll have to bowl it again. And Australia add two. Cut away. Just behind point. Pick up two. That's all they're going to get. Edged. Oh, it flies through the slips. Oh, Hayden gets lucky. Driven straight. It's a good shot. Don't think it will go for four. It won't. They'll get two for it. Langer moves to four. Australia 11 for no loss. Oh! <laughs> Inside edge. Back onto the pad. It nearly rolls onto the stumps. Edge. Come on! Palmerson has the first wicket. Who's gone? Is it Hayden, I think? Finds the edge, it's a good line of length. It's where there are thereabouts of where he's been, and Hayden goes for six. Ricky Ponting comes out to the crease nice and early. Didn't quite swing as much as I wanted that one to, as they get one. Flicks away. Got a little bit too straight. Ponting's off the mark with a four. Just lent on by Langer there, and he'll get two out to deep square. Again, it's too straight from Hoggard there. Swung in a little bit too much as they pick up another two, I think. Cut away. Finds the gap. It's four. Cut away. Straight to the man at point. Not been terrible from Hogger, but I think this could be his last one unless anything magical happens in this over. As it's kind of pushed to the leg side and Ponting picks up another one. Australia 27 for one. That's through the gap. Should cut it off. A comeback for a two, Langer to 13. I could have run him out there, but not happening. No, I might finish up with a short ball. We do, that might even be a wide. It's really a bold. Oh, God, I'd have a spell. I'm going to go one more from Harmison here now as well. He's bowled the pick of the two opening bowlers. Picks up one 
for 12 so far. It's really going just under a three and over. Oh, all the way. Nice through the gap. Through the covers for four. Surprised there's not a full house in for the Ashes, I have to admit. I mean, this was obviously... This is pre-2005 Ashes. No one cared about cricket. The in-swinger is defended by Ponting. And that's the end of the 11th over. Simon Jones into bowl. Langer on strike. We're going to start off with an in-swing in Yorker. See how he plays it. And it's left alone. Oh. Hit away. Can we cut it off? We can't. One to four. Good shot. Oh, that's going to be buys. It hasn't jumped for it. All right, Freddie Flint off in to bowl. Not too sure how I feel about this action. That's through the gap. Holding times it really well and it flies to the rope. And again, a big shot through the leg side from Langer. And I think he finds the boundary again. Moves to 21. Catch. Oh, it doesn't quite carry. We won. Nearly got run out. Oh, that's an interesting shot, isn't it? Edged. Oh, it goes through the gap. The one we were looking for. They pick up two. Picks away fine. I think this is probably going to go for four. Yeah, can't get anywhere near it. And again, flicks away. Down to fine leg. And this time they just pick up a single. Oh, they're going to try and sneak one here. This could be close. They get home. Pulled. Oh, I'm pulled well. It's the wrong person to bowl a short ball to. And that one goes down to fine leg as well for a single. You know, for an early wicket, Australia looking pretty comfortable again. That's defended by Langer. Catch. Oh, it doesn't carry. And again, that one goes down to fine leg. Just conceding singles here. That's pulled. Oh, he's threaded it. Through the eye of a needle. And again, down to fine leg. For one, Langamusa 30. Oh, and that's buys again, isn't it? Karen Jones doesn't want to move for it. All the way. Off the legs, another boundary. Australia 80 for one now, and we're struggling a little bit. Oh, it's late cut. It's late cut really, really well. One goes for four. We go for the bumper again, and it's buys again. It might be wide, this one. It is. It's tough if we can bowl the bouncer. Catch. It's over the top. It's four. Showing their class now, Australia. Catch. Oh, it was in the air. All right, last one for Jones. What can he finish with? One that's left alone by Ponting. Oh, it's a no ball. Driven straight. 
Can we get there? No, there's no point of even trying to get there. Oh, and that's four again, isn't it? Just after such a good start for England here, and it's just all falling apart. Could do with a wicket. Oh, could be close this run out. Oh, no, not quite. And that's the end of Flint off spell as well. God, back into bowl. Just five overs for his first spell and starts off with a no ball. Right, Harmson in. Pick of the bowlers so far. One for 16 from his first six. Could do with another wicket now if there's one kicking about. Timed really well. Finds a gap. Ponting will come back for two. Australia 106 for one. Edge. Gone. How's that? Oh, it's a bump ball. It's a bump ball. Come on. Goes to the big shot, goes through the gap between the fielders. It's another boundary. Worked away through the leg side into the square leg boundary. Langer moves to 47. Oh, that's timed well. I thought that looked like it was going to fly away. We do just cut it off. They come back for a two. Edge. Gone. How's that? Oh, no. Really? I, did it bounce? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. It lets me do it. Yeah, I think it has. Catch. It's over the top. It's four. Oh, 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 that's classy. What a way to bring up your 50. 50 for Langer. I'm hoping his concentration has dropped a little bit. No, he's still driving them well. Flicks away off the legs down to fine leg for another single. I reckon I can trap like I reckon I can trap Ponting on his pads here. I don't know, I can just feel it. No. Flicks it away down to fine leg. I just don't know where we can buy a wicket from at, the, at this point. <sighs> oh, I thought a court and bold might have been on. Catch. Oh, my God. All right. Final over of the first session. And that's driven by Ponting for no run. Locked away. It's going to be... What, what are we doing? What are we doing? That's awful. Like, what is that building? Right, a wicket before lunch here would be very, very nice. That's defended. There it is. Last ball before lunch. We go to lunch. Australia won 30 for one after England won the toss and chose to bowl. Aiden fell. Australia were 12 for one. And then 118 partnership between Langer and Ponting have put Australia massively in the driving seat. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I very much hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a like. Please remember to subscribe. Let us know down in a comment who do you think is going to win the series. Do you think it will be England again? Or do you reckon Australia have got enough firepower to win this? Um, spoiler alert, Glenn McGrath will uh, step on a ball at the start of the second test. So just, just remember that one. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.